Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing class 22 of our hero's journey through yoga. Today's class is the reward. After we went through living the safety of the old and embarking on a journey and going through the valley and examining our deep psyche, uh, we faced challenges and found allies and our mentor and we started lifting up from the very deep dark we started to ascend there was resurrection and now on the way up in our ascension there is the reward we actually come across or we find the reward we are looking for and today's class is just that we're just going to focus on the rewards that we have had through our lives and just meditate on that remind yourself about your rewards in life and also after the class reward yourself with something that is feels luxurious it doesn't have to be an expensive thing but something that's luxurious to your soul something that you probably don't do often but you enjoy and you your senses love it maybe a hot chocolate maybe a bath maybe a walk in nature things that you don't necessarily put aside time for but you love them all right so think about what can you reward yourself with it can be something non-material or material uh, whatever is that you love but you don't often reward yourself with today we're going to do a meditation as a reward we'll stretch and loosen up our muscles before we do a zazen style meditation we're just going to get an introduction to zazen this is going to be um, based on zazen so that you can get an idea about zazen and there's different styles of meditation the one that you're most familiar with is movement meditation with yoga there is always things that are not quote-unquote meditation but walking in nature hiking can be meditation knitting uh, crafts arts those are meditation tm meditation which is more cerebral because it's a mantra meditation so it's more here uh, breathing meditation counting the breath which is more bodily and down here but also in some ways out side of the body it's out of the body meditation zazen is based on zen and we're gonna motivate the breath through the lower belly through the lower parts of the lungs through the diaphragm so you're not focusing on your nose so much to breathe in and breathe out but you power it through the diaphragm let's loosen up uh, first remember to flow with strength and ease Let's step at the front of the mat, feet parallel to each other, hip width apart for ease so that the joints are stacking underneath each other or on top of each other. Feet pointing directly forward which means the outer edges of the feet are parallel to each other so the big toes are just slightly in and roll the shoulders back and down. Lengthen through the crown of the head and focus on your posture for a moment. Just scan your body and assess your posture. In Zazen, that's one of the reasons uh, for uh, Zazen to be uh, preceded by yoga is so that we can loosen up the joints and sit properly in proper posture. Like a child, if you observe children, they are all, <laughs> we're all born sitting properly, walking properly, having beautiful proper posture which gets adulterated by sitting in chairs and furniture. So observe your posture, try to softly open the chest. Don't pop it open artificially but find that softness that opens, expands this area shoulder blades tucking into the back lengthening through the crown of the head so the neck is elongated shoulders back and down collarbones opening away from each other 
feeling the core, feeling the hips. Inhale over the head and exhale folding with a straight back. You can bend the knees here or keep them straight, whatever your body prefers. Shake your head yes and no. And step your right foot all the way back. Glide your right hand in line with your left foot and take a gentle twist here. Left arm spins up. Very good. And from here, step the left foot back, lower down. Cobra. Roll the shoulders back and down, pull the belly in, extend the tailbone down. Exhale. You can gently pass through an extended puppy pose. Take the toes under and down dog, lifting the tailbone high. Let's inhale the right leg up. And step the right foot at the front. Keep the left hand in line with the right foot. Take the right hand up in a gentle twist. And exhale down here. We're going to take the left foot to the front. Bend the knees. Take chair. And inhale, come up, arch, hands over the heart. Exhale down, inhale over the heart. Exhale down, inhale over the head. Exhale, folding. Inhale, you can look ahead of you so that we can engage the core. And we're going to reverse the whole process. Take the left foot back. Take the left hand in line with the right foot and twist. And lower down. Step it back. Cobra. Exhale down. Down dog. Spread the fingers wide open. And inhale the left leg up so that we can even out the sides. Step the left foot to the front in line with the hand. Twist. Release the hand down. Step the right foot at the front. You can keep the feet hip width apart. Chair, pull the belly in, draw the navel in, chest open. Sit back, inhale, arch. Hands over the heart. Inhale here. Exhale, hands by your sides. Inhale, hands over the heart. Exhale, down again. Inhale over the head. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, look ahead of you. And here we're going to take the right leg back. This time, you can bring the right knee either on the floor or stay in high lunge and come up. Reach over the head, arching slightly. You can circle the arms here once. Good, so that the shoulders are getting a little circulation. Warming up. Exhale down, cobra. Inhale. And exhale, down dog. Take 
take the right foot at the front and do the same thing you did on the other side either knee down or knee off the floor and come up belly engaging chest opening you can do a few circles here to remind yourself about the openness of the shoulders and exhale down cobra down dog again This time we're gonna take the left foot between the hands, come up, you can keep your hands in prayer and bring them towards the base of the neck here, open the elbows back, open the chest up, great, now bring the hands fingertips at the base of the skull press the elbows back and let the chest open very good release hands in prayer this is one of my favorite chest openers so come back to it during your day if you feel compressed in the heart area great hands in prayer lengthen lots of length twist and here we're bringing the right elbow on the outside of the left knee if that is too much repeat the previous twist right hand on the floor another variation is right hand to the left knee so you do have options exhaling softening the belly as you exhale and feeling how this open space frees up space for the twist to deepen so here we're working rather than with uh, forcing a pose with letting a pose be allowing rather than intending so there is times in life when we need to act take a, to take action and move from intention and there is times when we need to relax and let things come to us flow happen unfold twists are the things that we need to allow we shouldn't force them great inhale lifting and be glorious here open release down good step it back cobra and exhale down dog Look under the right shoulder and under the left. Bring the left hand in the center of your mat and take the right hand to your left ankle and look underneath that left shoulder. Getting a little spinal twist. Very good, opposite side. back to center let's step the right foot through press the back heel away from your strong legs come up mm, exhaling softening hands in prayer bring them in the base of the neck press the elbows back and lengthen here feel how this lengthens in their spine very good release the fingertips at the back of the head as if you're gliding the skin of your skull up skin of the skull up elbows back and feel how this brings circulation and blood throughout the entire area your shoulders chest great hands in prayer lengthen take an option here elbow to knee hand to knee or hand on the floor Keep the length in, soften with your exhalation. Exhale and feel the belly softening. Good. 
great inhale open exhale hands down and step the back foot in and bend the knees rest your chest and belly onto your legs wrap your wrists around the elbows let the upper body hang let the head hang let the face relax and soften let the breath guide you complete exhalations here Let's bring the hands at the base. You, um, you can interlace the fingers at the base of your head and glide the skin again. Skin gliding over the bone, feeling the stretch in the neck here. Very gentle, don't force anything. great left hand on the floor straightening the right leg take the left arm up and lengthen through the crown of the head opposite side and release let's lower down onto the booty and soles of the feet together stretching opening the hips here great from here we're going to open the legs out Keep the back straight, flex the feet, pull the toes in towards you, stretching here. inhale coming up right elbow over the right knee take the left arm up and over turn the palm of the hand down this protects your shoulder and allows you to lengthen properly as an example of not so well aligned you will just keep your arm unintentional and bring the shoulder by the bring the shoulder by the ear here which is not very relaxing for the shoulder so this is a good habit to create when reaching for objects above the head to create space at the same time as length opposite side lengthen so both sides of the torso are lengthening oftentimes when we're stretching inside bends many people would make the mistake to just crunch one side and lengthen the other and also let the head hang that's a common thing you will see and then the hand will do whatever kind of unintentional the head is unintentional so scale back lengthen both sides so we're lengthening the side that is shortened lengthen reach press into the opposite leg flex that quadriceps pull the toes back find intention feel your body Create awareness, tap into it, lengthen, very good. Let's twist towards the right leg, even look over your shoulder, opposite side. All right, a little hip opening action. You can bring your leg just halfway in, very good. And now we're gonna bring the right ankle over the left knee just above the knee flex the right ankle flex the left flex both feet basically and really keep them flexed the entire time and here we're going to be stretching the right hip 
feel free to just give your muscles a little a little massage therapist style tapping here around the glutes and quadriceps yeah and lengthen through the chest lower down here stay in the place where it feels like a good stretch you feel the stretch you definitely feel the stretch it's not painful you're not constricting your breath and creating tension in your jaw it's in the area it could be just here it's in the area where you feel it but it's kind of like spilling honey <laughs> nectar spilling on your soul so it's a stretch we need generally stretching should most of the time feel like that it's just a needy thing for the body kind of tap into your inner cat cats enjoy stretching dogs enjoy stretching they don't do it the way some people do yoga with like fussy face and oh, I hate stretching, it hurts. No, just oh, feel how good it is to stretch. Your body can stretch, enjoy that capacity of your body. Sometimes you have to scale it back a bit, but that's okay. All right, opposite side. So flexing the feet, keep them flexing. You can bring your left hand onto your left thigh and glide it outward, outward. So the gliding the flesh above the bone. Exhaling gently. all right one more stretch here you can have your feet hip width apart bend the knees and reach forward with a straight back glide your legs a little forward straightening them as far as you want to elbows can be on the floor if they can reach otherwise you can be here and just hold it for a moment lengthening the hamstrings beautiful all right let's finish with full body spinal twist our chiropractic self twist so both we did this early in the series um, but i'll take you through it again um, both heels are on the floor a little wider than hip width apart and you're going to begin to bring your hands over to the right either to the side or all the way behind you on the mat and, and your left hip will come off the floor but the heels will stay on the floor and you will lower down forehead to the floor soften the breath and opposite side this can totally undo some of the twistedness we have from Standing all day with improper posture. Great. Coming out of this, sit in a comfortable cross legged pose. You can bring a pillow underneath your body. So the main point here is to remain, create and remain proper posture. We're going to do a few shoulder rolls backwards and let's bring the right ear over the right shoulder opposite side again lengthening both sides of the neck back to center right let's bring the uh, head over to the right Chin parallel to the floor, to the left, lengthen again, finding length, back to center, look up, look down, tucking the chin in, look up, look down, 
and a very mild neck roll so don't use the full range of motion here because you may compress something not a big deal but just use more length rather than bending too much great so with that looseness we will prepare for zazen or for uh, seated meditation so focus on sitting in a proper posture with a proper posture lengthening through the crown of the head roll the shoulders back and down the chest should remain open throughout the entire meditation and please join me for this meditation even if you feel like oh, i can't do meditation 10 minutes it will pass quickly and it will give you the opportunity to sit and really sink into the present moment really uh, come to the present moment and be in your life at the present moment rather than here and in the past and in the future so be here and now we're going to bring the right hand underneath the left one and um, the fingers stacking on top of each other and the thumbs touching creating a circle a nice fluffy circle and you can bring your hands into your lap and hold here this will keep you present holding your posture keep the shoulders back and down and you're going to motivate your breath so to speak from the diaphragm rather than through the nose try to take a breath in and exhale through the nose both inhalation and exhalation through the nose and now try to motivate it through initiate it through the diaphragm so the nose is almost more passive this is a very gentle shift switch of intention but try taking the breath through the nose intending it from the nose and then through the diaphragm so thinking about that area of the body or intending through here or feeling that area rather than the nose it is a it's it, it's a very gentle difference so try to feel your belly expanding as you inhale and the eyes here are not closed but not fully open just gently close halfway down so you can still anchor your gaze in the room you're that way you're not gonna fall asleep and or withdraw too much you're still here and gazing at the point and remember to come out of this meditation slowly and gently don't jump out of it when it's the final bell goes off when it's the end of the meditation just slowly start to come back into the room and slowly introduce movement into your body and just for the next 10 or so minutes just observe your breath and that's it i will begin and end the meditation with a little ding so be prepared that that's how we're gonna end gently but with a little sound so don't get jarred expect that there is gonna be alertness be alert type of ending of the meditation so are you ready to begin take it easy no big goal you don't have to get enlightened in one meditation just be present just observe your breath all you have to do is watch your breath if your mind wanders come back no big deal there is no need for achievement here it's just keep coming back to the breath that's all we are exploring meditation let's get started
and slowly begin to come out of your meditation slowly starting to move shifting the body side to side a little bit of an in element to this very yang practice zazen is a very masculine form of meditation so we're bringing a little bit of a fluid movement here to balance out the energetics and slowly straighten the legs forward bend rolling up like a rag doll and here we're gonna walk a few times around our mat in zazen they walk around the room and just to bring some movement back and i hope you're relaxed and awake and centered and grounded and refreshed and feeling a little a little lighter i'll see you with our class tomorrow and let me know how this class went for you how this practice was for you remember to subscribe and hit the notification button if you want to receive future classes and i'll see you tomorrow remember to flow with strength and ease